There are some who say it simply isn't for any of us to pass judgment on who should build a mosque and where they should build it, as long as it's on private property and no laws are broken. New York Mayor Mike Bloomberg, he believes that, and apparently so does Republican Congressman and former presidential candidate Ron Paul. And he joins us now from Clute, Texas. Thanks for joining us, Congressman. Thank you. Good to be with you. Uh, now, I, I read your article, and you say really this whole issue is really a, an issue of property rights, and everything else is, quote, all, really about hate and Islamophobia. But, you know, I want to start by asking you, is, is what happened on September 11th, nine years ago, different? Uh, the worst terrorist attack on, on U.S. So soil. Are there certain lines to be drawn, even when it comes to this, this property rights issue? No, no, you should draw lines, but I think the lines are being drawn improperly. Al-Qaeda was responsible. Several hundred Al-Qaeda existed at that time, and maybe there's still several hundred more. But that doesn't mean the whole Muslim religion should be indicted. That is my complaint. I mean, uh, McVeigh probably was a Christian, and he bombed the uh, Oklahoma uh, federal building. But does that mean that a Christian uh, church can't be built near there and Christianity is blamed? No, I don't like that broad brush. So, yes, uh, the violence was committed by Al-Qaeda, and they're bad people, and we should do what we can to destroy them but that doesn't mean that we should destroy the whole concept of the Muslim religion and if they can bring this out whether the mosque is stopped or not the implication here is that Islam caused 9-11 not a narrow branch of the Al-Qaeda Al to me that is crucial because it deals with uh, our foreign policy, it deals with, uh, uh, you know, even in that clip earlier on, Madeleine Albright admitted, right. she said, well, if 500,000 people are killed, so be it, if that's what right. it takes. Uh, so, so the Muslims Muslim have uh, justification for, uh, you know, their worries and concerns. Did you, I mean, there's a lot of pain and anguish, I think, uh, from people who, who are uh, worried about this, this Islamic center being built here. I mean, do you see that point of view at all? To worry about it? Well, I worry about it because I'm afraid it stirs up hatred, and that's why I worry about it. I mean, there's a, and I think they're off on a tangent. I think the purpose was too often to, to just uh, blame uh, Islam. But there's other mosques uh, in that area. Uh, this is not on, uh, uh, you, you know, right where the t towers were. This is over, you know, too far, you know, down the street. But what, what about these strip joints? Are, are these people who are holier than thou condemning the strip joints? and joints nearby because it uh, defames uh, ground zero. So I don't think that's the consistency. I think this goal was to right. blame uh, Islam, uh, y you know, for 9-11, right. and I think that is wrong. I don't think that was the cause. Uh, Al-Qaeda did it. Yeah, and you talk about the fact that a lot of, there's a lot of Islamophobia. I mean, your son, Rand Paul, is running for U.S. Senate in Kentucky, is opposed to this facility being built. Uh, is he Islamophobic? Well, I don't know what his position is, but he's certainly not as long as He doesn't want the facility to be built. Uh, because, matter of fact, well, but, well, I'm not, I, I don't know his details, and he speaks for himself, and he has a different position, but uh, I, I sure wouldn't put him in that category, no. Uh, but I think uh, the emotions are high, and uh, people... I, I, uh, I mean, people the reason are, you know, lining up on each side. The reason I ask, Congressman, because in your article you talk about the fact that this really is a property rights issue, but you believe a lot of the extraneous issues are due to hate speech and due to Islamophobia, which is why I asked the question specifically about your son. I know you're not speaking for him, but I, but I wondered if you put him in that same category. Well, no, I don't put everybody who is a candidate in that same category that might have a reason for it. You have to ask him for his reasons. But, uh, no, everybody who is opposing it uh, doesn't even understand the foreign policy or why we're uh, in Iraq and Afghanistan. They don't have this understanding. They don't want to see the connection. My goal is to make the connection for people to understand uh, what's going on and uh, why al-Qaeda uh, has become so militant and hateful toward us and why painting Islam with a broad brush right. makes our problems worse because we're not narrowing down on the real cause and those who perpetuated 9-11. And right. if we don't get to that, we can't solve this problem. Well, let me just ask politically, and not to belabor this point uh, specifically about your son, but he has said President Obama was wrong to weigh in on this con controversy and that he is, quote, a liberal elitist who believes that he knows what's best. That's, that's your son's quote. You and the president seem to be on the same side on this particular issue. Do you have a reaction to your son's comment on that? No. I think okay. you have to ask him about it.
All right, all right. Well, we'll try, we'll, we'll try and talk to him about it as well. But I just wondered if Thanksgiving dinner was going to, if you were going to get together and talk about it, you give us a little peek behind the curtain there. Uh, obviously, there's a, there's a lot to talk about, particularly well, with this. Before, well, you're doing, you're doing sort of what they've been doing on, on this whole debate, trying to stir up trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, I think, I think it's a fair question. I mean, it's father and son having, you know, pretty diametrically opposed viewpoints on this. I did want to ask you uh, another question I, about... I don't, the, I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think that's fair. I don't think they're diametrically opposed. I haven't discussed it with them, so I just can't believe they're diametrically opposed. Uh, so, check well, it out. Uh, all right, fair enough. I just you you, you believe that the, this Islamic Center should be built, and, and he doesn't. But before before I let you, I did want to ask you about well, these that polls. Isn't that, even my, that isn't even my point. I am totally unconcerned about whether it's built or not built. I'm concerned about why it's just become the issue. That's what I'm concerned about. I'm afraid you didn't quite get my point. Do, do you think my it should point be built? Is saying that it's. I, I don't care whether it's built or not built. Be, and everybody says it's, can, you know, it's private property. They should be able to do what they, they, they want to do. They've, they've granted that. Once again, the point I'm making is not to blame Islam for 9-11. You have to blame only Al-Qaeda. That is a completely different story than all these uh, innuendos that you're bringing up. I don't think that's part of the question. You have to narrow in because it has to do with our foreign policy. And that's what I'm dealing with is the foreign policy. The foreign policy is crucial because that's why we have perpetual war. That's what I'm, that's, and I think this is all connected. Not, not, in, not in a way that is conspiratorial, but in a way that is, is almost people slip into this. It's real easy for people to get to hating Islam. But they, they, to me, that's equivalent to hating Christians because Timothy McVeigh was a Christian. And, and that I don't like. Nobody should like it. Nobody should like this being painted with a broad brush. It was done to the Jews before, and I don't like it. I like to stick to the facts. I like to talk about the foreign policy and how it's related. The sideshow, which is what I th right. call this, is, is just there to stir things up and prevent us from dealing with the real problems, and that is our interventionist foreign policy that gets us too much involved overseas, too many people die on both sides, and we're totally bankrupt, right. and we have to address that. We have to get away from, are we going to support the building of the, of the mosque? And that was sort of the you're in, you in, it was when you bring the question up with my son. I mean, now you're missing the whole point when you think that is the crucial question. The crucial question is our foreign policy. That's what I want people to think about. All right. It's, 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 it's a, it's a well-written article, Congressman. I enjoyed reading it. Uh, people at home should give it a read as well. We like to stick to the facts as well. Congressman Ron Paul, thanks so much.